Welcome to the Fantasy Baseball Pitching Planner. I'm Amber Wilson, and joining me is fantasy writer Scott White. And Scott, let's start off talking about Takashi Saito because he's injured. He has a sprained ligament in his elbow. He's trying to rehab for the next six weeks, trying to avoid surgery. Joe Torre has named Jonathan Broxton for the closer role to replace Saito. What do we really expect from Saito coming back, and do we? how do we – see Broxton handling this situation as well. Well, Saito says he's going to try and rehab it. When you hear that phrase, try and rehab, usually it means surgery is inevitable. Right. So Saito's a guy, he might come back after six weeks and give you one month worth of stats in September, but more likely he'll end up missing the whole season, meaning Broxton is a guy you absolutely want to own. He has 100 mile per hour heat. It was a closer in waiting, did a great job for Saito last year when he filled in for a while, and he could be a stud fantasy closer down the stretch. He has that kind of potential. Okay, so Kevin Slowey looked good in June, struggled in July, now an infected fingernail on his pitching hand that is just absolutely disgusting, yeah. actually. But nevertheless, uh, going to prohibit him from starting the game after the All-Star break as planned. What do we see going on with him? Well, they've put him at the back of the rotation. They're going to let him go Tuesday. That extra rest might help that finger heal, especially right after the All-Star break. And really, the finger might be a reason he struggled so much in July. This is a young guy. He's got really good stuff. If he comes back from this finger injury pitching like he did in June, he could be mixed league viable for the rest of the season. Okay, and Jeff Supon is planning to come off the DL on Tuesday, another guy that has been battling injuries. But now the Brewers are looking at too many pitchers here on their roster. So manager Ned Yost is actually talking about platooning Dave Bush and Seth yeah. McClung. Well, I mean, what on earth? It's, it's kind of a radical idea here by Yost. He said he's never seen it tried before. I've never seen it tried before. But basically, the Brewers would platoon them by venue. Bush would get all the home starts. McClung would get all the starts on the road. Bush, during his career with the Brewers, has always been a better home pitcher. And it showed up even more this year. So this would actually be, it would, it would make sense. Now, it is so radical, it might not end up happening. Bush has expressed willingness, but also a little bit of concern. So it might not happen, but if it does, it shouldn't make too big of an impact in fantasy leagues because you should have only been starting Bush at home anyway. Right. Okay. And the Phillies are talking about having Brett Myers rejoin the rotation on Wednesday. That would be um, the fifth turn after the All-Star break. Would you take a chance on him pitching as the old Brett Myers, his old self, or is he not going to do so hot for fantasy owners? Well, he looked a lot better in his last minor league start. Went eight innings, struck out ten batters. That's a lot more like the Brett Myers of old, the Brett Myers you drafted. I wouldn't expect him to do that coming right up. I wouldn't start him right away, but I'd have him on your roster just in case he becomes that kind of pitcher again. So I'd call him a must-add at this point, not really a must-start. If he gets shelled in his first two starts, you can always cut him again. All right. Well, we have to take a quick break for now, but when we come back, we're going to take a look at some pitchers going twice, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the show, and it's time to talk about two start pitchers for this week. And you go ahead and give us a must start for this week and a must sit. I know your must sit is a familiar name to some of these guys out there, and you have a good must start this week, too, you feel confident about. Randy Johnson is my must sit. I know Emac's been hard on him already. I'm going to go ahead and pile on here. Not pitching like the same guy. Too many walks. Not pitching deep enough into games. The Diamondbacks aren't giving him many earned runs right now, and uh, I find myself cutting him in a lot of mixed leagues, so I wouldn't have him active right now. And Kyle Loesch is my start. He went into the break with 11 wins and has been pitching really good. Hasn't lost a game since May, so he's a guy you're going to want to activate right now. He probably isn't quite this good, but Dave Duncan, the pitching coach over there, has worked a few miracles. Go ahead and get Loesch active. Okay, let's talk about sleeper picks for a second. Go ahead and give us three guys that are going to go twice this week as well, but that are owned in less than 50% of CBSSports.com leagues, but could help these guys out. Yeah, you're going to have to rely on these guys a little more right now uh, because so few ace pitchers are going twice coming off the short week. The first guy on my list here is Jason Bergman, big fan of him, owned in only 13% of leagues. The reason for that is he has only one win. The Nationals haven't given him any run support, but he has a 191 ERA over his last five starts. So pitching that well, he should get a few more. Paul Mahalam is another guy after the Pirates, Ian Snell, and Tom Gorzolani disappointed so much. Um, Mahalam has really broken out here. He's become the one Pirates pitcher you want to own in fantasy. And then John Parrish, kind of a deeper sleeper, 
owned in only 2% of leagues. He's another one of those career relievers that they've converted to a starter, and he's done pretty well so far. Only two starts so far, so give him a chance to prove himself first, but he's a good fallback option owned in only 2% of leagues. All right, Scott. Well, thank you for all of your advice, and that'll do it for us for now. Keep your mouse right here at CBSSports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports, and if you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch. For Scott White, I'm Amber Wilson, and good luck with your rotations, guys.